The United States Coast Guard, often dubbed as the Guardians of the Sea, take on countless missions that not only challenge their ability, but also open them up to some of the most unexpected encounters. Under the wide ocean resides one of nature's most fearsome predators, sharks. And with the U.S. Coast Guard operating in the waters, there's always an imminent danger of sharks swimming way too close, sometimes completely disrupting their mission. What happens when sharks swim too close to the U.S. Coast Guard? But before anything else, let's begin by understanding the pivotal role of this force. The U.S. Coast Guard is really important for rescue and security work. It's the biggest Coast Guard in the world and is as strong as many navies. Their main jobs are guarding the American borders, protecting the country's economic and safety interests overseas, and defending American authority by keeping important sea routes and communication lines safe. The Coast Guard has three big duties, making sure the sea is safe, security, and taking care of the marine environment. These duties are split into 11 missions. Some are about homeland securities and others are not. The non-homeland security tasks include making sure the sea is safe, search and rescue operations, helping with navigation, protecting marine life, environmental protection, and working in icy areas. Homeland security tasks are about keeping ports, waterways, and coasts safe, stopping drug trafficking and illegal immigration, being ready for defense, and law enforcement. Now, it's not all smooth sailing for the Coast Guard. They face a myriad of challenges during their operations, and interestingly, sharks are sometimes part of that equation. These challenges range from unpredictable weather conditions to the ever-evolving tactics of those attempting to exploit our waters. The presence of sharks introduces an element of unpredictability to their operations, especially during search and rescue missions or patrols. But this is where the question comes in. Why are sharks even considered a threat to the U.S. Coast Guard? Well, here's the deal. Sharks are usually not much of a problem to the Coast Guard, but let's not forget that they are commonly known as apex predators of the oceans for justified reasons. Even though they're known to be creatures of the deep blue waters, you'd be surprised to know how often these creatures pay visits to coastal areas, including beaches. Most of you must be thinking that there's no way sharks are even remotely an issue in the coastal areas, but that's where you'd be wrong. One of the main reasons sharks come close to the shore is in search of food. Seasons also have a say in this shark behavior. Many species of sharks have seasonal migration patterns. Just like how we might head to the beach when it gets warmer, some sharks migrate to coastal areas during specific times of the year. And then there are ocean currents and temperature changes that create hotspots along the coast, attracting sharks looking for the perfect conditions. The thing is, the Coast Guard operates regardless of the climate, weather, or season, meaning the chances of encountering sharks is exponentially higher than usual. But one might argue that sharks can't be that big of a threat to the Coast Guard. And you'd be wrong yet again. Now, before we jump into some intriguing shark encounters of the U.S. Coast Guard, here's a question for all of you to answer. Have you ever encountered a shark out in the waters? Let us know your experiences with sharks, if any, in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. Protocols for Sharks Anyway, it's time to look at what exactly happens when the U.S. Coast Guard comes face-to-face -face with sharks. Note that even though Coast Guard personnel are not primarily concerned with sharks, the team still plays a role in shark watch and response tactics to ensure the safety of both humans and marine life. By extension, they have actually established something known as the Shark Watch and Response Tactics. When it comes to Shark Watch, the main aim is to prevent an encounter in the first place. The Coast Guard does this by maintaining a vigilant watch for any signs of shark activity during their operations. Whether aboard vessels, aircraft, or stationed on the coast, Coast Guard crew members are trained to identify and report shark sightings promptly. We'll soon discuss specifically how they do this. Hang tight, as we're about to run through some real-life examples. But before that, we'd like to invite you to join our channel as a member. This will serve as a medium of support to the channel so we can continue producing the best videos on the U.S. Navy and different maritime topics. Plus, we look at it as a tribute to all the veterans who tune in to our videos. Thank you for that. 
Simply click the link in the description or go to our homepage and select Join. U.S. Coast Guard versus Sharks Encounters Jumping back to what was initially mentioned, it's actually pretty rare for a shark to mess with us humans, believe it or not. By extension, this is exactly why there have not been many instances of the U.S. Coast Guard having to deal with some problematic sharks trying to eat them alive or disrupt them in their missions. But the key phrase is that there have not been many instances, which means there indeed have been a couple. You see, coming face to face with an apex predator can be unnerving regardless of how rarely such happens, especially given that there are around 80 unprovoked attacks globally every year. So prepare yourselves to watch some of the incredibly dangerous shark encounters in the past few years and observe the epitome of bravery and perfection that the US Coast Guard upholds while conducting rescue missions. One other shark encounter that will give you the shivers happened on August 26, 2020, in the Pacific Ocean a zillion miles from land when the crew of the US Coast Guard was swimming near its ship. The swim was conducted under a fully vetted and tested plan, including safety briefs, setting up communications, a small boat with extra crew stationed 50 yards from the ship, an armed shark watch, an open and manned rescue station, and an accountability system. Everything was going smooth when bridge personnel reported shark over the radio. A six to eight foot shark surfaced at the rescue door and was swimming toward 30 to 40 people in the water about 30 feet away. All shark emergency protocols came into operation. Metalsmith Petty Officer First Class Cintron was on shark watch duty. He fired a well-aimed burst right on top of the shark to protect shipmates just feet away. It turned away for a few seconds, then turned back. He and his fellow U.S. Coast Guard personnel kept directing people out of the water while keeping a clear line of sight on the shark. He had to fire bursts as needed to keep the shark from his shipmates with amazing accuracy. While some crew went for the ladder on the fantail, others went for the open stern notch at the ship's stern, and a large group swam for a small boat. That day, ME-1 Cintron not only saved his shipmates, but the shark also swam away uninjured, as the purpose of the shots was to distract the shark, not to injure or kill it. This incident was yet another commendable operation carried out by the U.S. Coast Guard when encountering sharks. Training and Technologies to Encounter Sharks By now, you must have grasped a good idea of how well prepared the U.S. Coast Guard is to take on any challenge in the blue waters. But did you know that they have a complete protocol and set of trainings just for shark encounters? It's true. The development of protocols for shark encounters underscores the Coast Guard's commitment to both its mission and the preservation of marine life. But that is just a fraction of a bigger equation. The US Coast Guard employs a combination of training, technology, and collaboration with marine experts as technology advances, innovative methods for detecting and monitoring sharks are becoming integral to minimizing potential conflicts during their operations. Also, vast studies and research are part of the Coast Guard's duties to understand shark behaviors and create protocols to deal with them effectively. Personnel of the U.S. Coast Guard go through rigorous training. A major part of their training consists of learning various techniques for assessing and addressing different scenarios they may encounter at sea with marine life. Multiple simulation exercises with virtual reality technologies allow personnel to practice responses to shark encounters in realistic scenarios, enhancing their preparedness for real-life situations. Additionally, personnel often collaborate with marine biologists and shark experts during specialized training sessions. These collaborations provide insights into the latest research on shark behavior, allowing Coast Guard personnel to stay abreast of developments in the field and refine their strategies for minimizing conflicts. The Coast Guard emphasizes early detection as a key component of their shark encounter protocols. Advanced technologies such as sonar, acoustic sensors, and underwater cameras can be used to develop shark detection systems. These systems can monitor coastal areas and provide real-time information about the presence of sharks allowing authorities to issue warnings or take preventative measures. Aerial surveillance facilitated by drones and other unmanned aerial vehicles provides a bird's eye view, aiding in the early identification of sharks in the vicinity. 
Moreover, they introduced tagging and tracking systems to get a much deeper understanding of shark behavior and introduced sensing devices that can be attached directly to sharks. These sensors monitor animal movements as well as the environmental conditions of the surrounding ocean. Then, acoustic receivers are placed into the sea to collect information from tagged sharks as they pass nearby. By collecting and analyzing this data, researchers can gain insights into shark patterns and potentially identify high-risk areas or times when human-shark interactions are more likely to occur. Now, you must be wondering, despite all of these protocols and technologies to avoid shark encounters, does it ever become inevitable to kill them to mitigate imminent threats? Well, as a general practice, the US Coast Guard does not have a policy of intentionally killing sharks when they encounter them. The Coast Guard, like many maritime organizations, recognizes the importance of marine conservation. The Coast Guard typically employs non-lethal methods to deter sharks and minimize potential conflicts during their operations. These non-lethal deterrents include electronic shark deterrent devices that emit specific signals or frequencies to deter sharks from approaching, magnetic field technologies, and even visual deterrents such as surfboard patterns that confuse sharks. These technologies create a virtual barrier around the user and can provide an added layer of protection. However, it's essential to note that in rare cases, if a shark poses an immediate threat to the safety of the crew or the success of a mission, the Coast Guard may use lethal force as a last resort. Let me ask you an important question here. In addition to all these carefully curated protocols and techniques, what other technologies are being used to detect and encounter sharks while preserving the ecosystem? Share your insightful knowledge with us in the comments below. In concluding our journey through the dangerous shark encounters, we have learned that sharks are not coming to shore to purposely attack humans. Instead, the shore offers a number of benefits which include food, protection, and warmth. But when these sea beasts pose a threat to humans, whether on shores or in deep seas, the U.S. Coast Guard is there to protect us. We discovered how through specialized training, advanced technologies, and established protocols, the Coast Guard addresses multifaceted challenges, ensuring safety. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like, and if you loved it, then please subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll be showing us your support, which we truly appreciate and cherish. Keep an eye out as we continue to bring more entertaining and educational content on the U.S. Navy and other maritime topics. So hit that bell icon so you'll receive a notification every time we post a new video. Thank you, and we'll catch you in the next one.